So yeah, man. Like, so shout out to everyone who just joined the live. You guys are watching, you know, uh, Traders Room featuring Bandi there, doing a young interview. You know, vibes. So, bro, like, yeah, man. Like, so, like, first of all, I want to say, like, you know, the way I discovered your Instagram, like, was crazy because I was on the real section, and yeah. then I see this kid in like school uniform. <laughs> yeah, and like there's money like at the bank and then like the captions like um 25k for the last day of school and then i'm like yo who's this kid and then yeah. like when i found you you're still on 5k in jan or something like that you yeah. know and your growth has been like amazing for that short period of time you know can you hear me can you see me now I can hear you, but your screen is loading. <clears throat> but can can I can I leave and then join back, bro? I don't know what's happening. Okay, sure. Oh, wait. No stress, no stress. So yeah, guys, that's Pandile on on the live right now. You know, nineteen year old. This nigga's my age. I'm also nineteen, and like he's killing it, guys. He's killing. Just bring the light here, dog. Yeah, just put it there, bro. Yeah, man. Let's see the comment section. We all know the vibes. Yeah, man. We all know the vibes. Let's see his request. Okay. Okay, I see people in the live. Shout out to FX Kids. Shout out to Forex Vibe. Trading Psychology. We see you guys, man. Let's push. Let's push, guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We just... It's nice being like at a young age and you know pushing that it's dope, it's dope. Okay, let's see. Let's go, you know. Okay, he just requested. <clears throat> Am I a trader? <laughs> nah man, it's not about me. This I'm back, I'm back. Hopefully you can see me now. Okay, yeah, yeah, we good, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. So, like, first things first, uh, Bandila is a 19-year-old trader, you know? Yeah. Financial market trader, founder of Bandila Trader, and you also have mentor, right? Yeah, bro, you know the vibes. Yeah, so, for those who don't know you, like, I want you to introduce yourself to the people. You know, I want you to tell the people who you are. Give us a background. You know, it doesn't have to be forex related because we're gonna get into that. You know. Yeah, bro. So basically, bro, I'm just an ordinary kid, right? Spandile, 19 years old, started trading in mm. 20, 2019. Yeah, uh, when I was in grade 11, after failing yeah. um, grade 10, bro. So yeah, mm. started trading. So then basically, after failing grade 10, I was like, no, man, like I need to do something. You know. Cause school wise, yeah, yeah. school wise, I wasn't, I wasn't placed, bro. School wise, it's not so communicating. Was, yeah, bro. So I was like, nah, I need, I need to do something, you know. So I literally went yeah. on Google, bro, and I was like, ways to make money online, you know. And yeah, already at yeah. the time, I had knew about forex, but then I was like, yo, how am I gonna get this shit figured? How am I gonna get this stuff figured out? Sorry. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like I already knew that it was forex, so looking at on ways to like make money from it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so then I basically yeah. like, went on Instagram, bro, and I really knew a few traders at the time, right? Yeah. I knew a few traders at the time. So it's all about, I was like, okay, I see all these traders are living and everything. I want to be like them, you know? Yeah. I want to be like them. So yeah. I basically had to, like, find someone who's going to teach me because my mindset was like, I need to learn this stuff, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like in the forex markets, you need to like first learn how to like make money from it. Like you first need to learn, bro. So I was like, I'm gonna find someone who's gonna like be able to teach me the skill, you know? Because in this industry, you need yeah. the skill. You need the skill. Yeah. You know? bro. So then I was on so, Insta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you are on Insta and like you're looking up to a couple of guys, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking up to Jason Noah, right? But yeah, yeah, the thing, the problem was in terms of funds, bro, like in terms of like getting his course, it was expensive, bro. 
So I was like, okay, you know what? Yeah, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me look into like his students, you know, someone who's more affordable, affordable yeah. but under his like wing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I saw um, Ashris Montra, right? At the time, it was handled Ashris, now known as Leadership, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, damn, yeah. this guy, at the time, he was 19, 20, 20. I was like, damn, like, this oh, guy yeah. is basically almost my age, and he was taught by the guy was I was taught. Yeah. I was like, he's taught by the guy I was taught. That means, you know, like, he's possibly, possibly the right mentor, you know? So I DM'd him. Yeah. He was not hesitant. He replied to my DM. I'm like, bro, I'm still in school. Could you please make your classes on the weekend, you know? And in grade 11 at this time, right? Yeah, beginning of grade 11. Okay. Yeah. DM them, he's like, yeah, I'm going to make my classes on, on, on the weekend, you know? So he posted, yeah. you know how traders at the time, they had like tour dates and everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, tour yeah. dates around the country. Yeah, so then his date for Durban was Monday. And I was like, bro, like, I really want to, like, become, like, you know, a forex trader. But your date is on a Monday and I have yeah. school. <clears throat> you have school. Yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, he, he didn't reply to the DM, right? He didn't reply to the DM. I'm like, okay, you know what? He did his half. He made a date for Durban. What I'm going to do is I need to try yeah. get to, like, I need to try, like, you know, make it to his class on Monday, right? Yeah. Basically... He had that class and I missed it. I couldn't get to that class. I missed it, bro. I missed it. I DM'd him again. I'm like, bro, I'm really hungry for the knowledge. I want to become a trader. Like, what can you do? You know? So mm. he he replied to my DM. He was like, yeah, he'll make a class like on the weekend. Right? And um, yeah. basically, like, long story short, he had continuous classes during the week. Right? But he came through on a... Uh, Thursday it was. Thursday. Thursday was better because I could leave yeah. school early, right? Yeah. So we had a class on Thursday. He's like, okay, he's going to teach me one-on-one. He's going to come all the way down for me because he can see that I'm like really eager to learn how to trade. Mm. So I'm like, okay, the guy's going to come down for me. Let me try and make a plan to make it through, to like pull through on Thursday. Spoke to my mom and everything. I was like, like, mom, you know, like, please, please can you pay? Like at the time, bro, I was like, I won't say I was broke, but I had no money, and the only money that was available was my parents' money, right? Your parents, man. Yeah. So, so I want to ask a question, right? So since you mentioned your parents, how did they react to, like, you wanting to be, you know, in the forex industry and learning the skill, you know? They, plus, you have school at the same time, so they want you to be in school and you have your own vision, you know? Yeah, how did that... so it was, it was very hard. Because at the time, my mom was like, no, focus on school. She's like, you can do this thing after school, right? I was like, no, like, yeah, please, yeah. just please, please pay the class and the rest will be up to me, you know? So I yeah. remember clearly she paid the 1,000 rent deposits, right? She's like, I'm only going to mm-hmm. pay 1,000, right? And the class was 3,000. Oh, you listen to the class. Okay. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. I told Ashworth that, okay, bro, like, my mom paid 1,000. She's like, no, it's, it's cool. It's fine, you know? So then he came down mm. and everything, communicated the dates, the venue, time, all that, right? And then I hustled, yeah. I, I hustled the remaining 2,000, right? Yeah. Sold a few things. Got so we like selling sweets at school? Nah, or... I just, I just, I'm not going to lie. I was asking for donations from my uncles and aunts, right? And I sold a few okay, personal so... things of mine, you know, like a few clothes. Um, I had a PlayStation 3 yeah. at the time. I sold it, you know. Just to get two thousand so rand. Yeah. So you sacrificed. You yeah. Sacrificed. Big time. Big time. That's dope, man. Yeah, bro. So. So yeah. So as Shira's uh, leadership mantra teaches you, and then you get to his classes, and then uh, which step did he take from there? Um. He communicated that we'll have our class on on a th- on a Friday. Friday. So I leave school mm-hmm. early, right? Left school. I told my mom, like, yeah. please, please pick me up from school. Because, you know, like, school, you need to, like, have a parent that calls you down and stuff like that. So, I remember clearly Friday, my mom came to school. She um, she picked me up. She was like, no, uh, my son has to go to a dentist appointment, right? My son has to go oh, to yeah, a dentist yeah. yeah, yeah. my mom, like, lied for me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She lied for me. I was like, okay, cool. 
So I was like, in the back of my head, on the way to the class, I'm like, when I get there, I'm going to pay careful attention. Mm -hmm. I have my book here, my notepad, I have my pen. Like, I'm going to pay, like, yeah. attention, bro. Like, I want to learn this, you know? Yeah. Like, I need to make, like, you know, I need to prove my, my, my family wrong. Yeah. So I got there, waited, like, an hour for him to get to... Okay, at the time, it was at JP Market's office, right? Oh, yeah, JP. Yeah, all the way in Durban, in La Lucia, right? Got there, yeah, waited yeah. for him. He came. I went to the office, and after that, taught me, taught me, taught me, taught me. That was in Feb, right? Yeah. 2019. Yeah, Feb 2019. Yeah. Grade 11. The school year literally just started. Yeah. Yeah. School year started. So, you know, p black parents, they're all about school and everything. And I had a really yes. good school early yeah. to go to this class, you know. So, already the odds yeah. were against me, you know. She was like, yo, I took you out of school. Yes. Like, you know, the pressure, bro. Just to go to this day. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, can I ask, right? So, your transition from being a trader in school and being a trade... Okay, now let's go from 20, uh, 2019. Uh, how, how is that your trading-wise? Were you profitable? Were you... Like, how was your trading during, those, during 2019? So, I had my, my class on the 26th of Feb, 2019, right? So from the 26th of Feb 2019 to June 26th, I was blowing accounts one way, right? I was blowing. Yeah. From Feb to June, I was blowing, I was blowing accounts strong, bro. Like, I blew so much money. So five months of blowing. Five months of blowing, bro. Those five months, I was... Uh, like, how much were you funding? I was funding, like... My, my first live account was... 40 USD, right? 40 USD. It was like 600, yeah, that's like... Mm. Yeah. Okay. Blew it, bro. Blew it. I'm like, okay. And at the time, like the first two months of my trading career, I asked my, my parents, like my family to fund me and, and everything, right? Yeah. But I kept blowing. So eventually they got tired of funding it's me, right? Yeah. So I had to like hustle. I had to sell clothes. I had to like do a lot of things. To get money to trade and yeah, everything, yeah. right? So I kept going mm. until June, right? June was my birthday. 12th of June was my birthday. I got a lot of money from my family members. You know, just birthday money, right? Yeah. So mm. I was stuck between... I was stuck between buying nice things because it's my birthday or funding my trading account, yeah. you know, because, like, I want to be a forex trader. So, like, I took the risk yeah. and I funded my trading accounts, right? I got about... How much was it? I had 4K in total, right? Okay, that's decent enough to maintain like an account. Yeah, I had 4K yeah. in total. I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fund four different accounts with 1,000 Rand, right? Each account <laughs> had the JP yeah. Markets, had the JP Markets um, bonus, right? Yeah. First account, first 1,000 Rand, I blew it. Yes. Second 1,000 Rand accounts, I blew In how long? Yo, bro, I blew it in like a day, two days max. Up until my look, okay. yeah. Up until my last thousand rand, right? My last thousand rand, I'm like, no, mm -hmm. like I need to, like this is my last money. I'm not gonna have any money after this. <laughs> like, let me, yeah. let me like trade smart, you know. I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me aim to make two hundred rand a day, right? Two hundred rand. Yeah, yeah. So I was trading currencies at the time. Nas wasn't that big at the time. 2019, Nas was not yeah, that big. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to trade currencies, right? And my aim is to make 200 a day. If I see 200 rand profits, I'm going to close. So that's the week of your birthday. You've blown 3K already? Bro, June 3K. Week. 26th of June, I made like 200 rand profits, right? Yeah. 27th, I made more. I made another 200 rand, you know? And it just kept adding up until yeah. I covered my initial, uh, my initial deposits of 1,000 rand, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I literally, like, I doubled my account practically, right? Yeah. So, I'm like, okay, so I'm, like okay, I'm going to withdraw some of the money and continue trading because this is my last thousand rand. I want to grow it, you know? Oh, yeah. So, you took out 3K and you were left with 1K. Yeah. So, the potential that the market has, you know? Yeah. 
my last thousand, my last thousand, yeah. I made a thousand rand. So my account was sitting at two thousand rand, right? Yeah. And I made my first withdrawal of I think it was three hundred and seventy-five rand around there, close to four hundred rand. I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. I was like, okay. Let me like be mature about this, right? I made three hundred rand. I made a three hundred rand withdrawal, right? If I can withdraw three hundred mm-hmm. every week, then this thing could take me far in the long run. Because trading is all about like long term. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So every week I would draw three hundred rand. It eventually grew up to four hundred, five hundred, six hundred. Eventually, I was withdrawing a thousand rand a week, right? Yeah. 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 So I just want to say like. The thing, people like what people could learn from that, from my experience, is that most traders are in a rush to make five thousand rand a day. You know, five thousand rand a day. Yeah, you know, when you should actually be aiming to make like two hundred rand a day, and that two hundred is going to add up to a lot of money. To a lot of money. So now, uh, throughout, so that was twenty nineteen, right? And yeah. you had your breakthrough during like June. You know, end of June. Yeah. What was that? Now, what was that like one moment where you realized that like, you know what, this thing clicked and like from here, there's no point where I'm going back, you know? It was after my first withdrawal, the first 370 rand that I withdrew. I was like, wait, so this so is that, real. After blowing thousands yeah. of rands, I finally made 300. So what I must be do, you. yeah, that changed me. I was like, okay, wait, I must just repeat the same thing that I was doing to make the 300 rand, you know? Yeah. So basically what I was doing was... Bit. Pardon? Bit by bit, your, bit by bit, your was... trading account is growing and at the same time your bank account is growing because that's one important thing. As much as your trading account grows, your bank account also needs to reflect Definitely. what you're putting in on the market. Definitely. Even if it's a 100 rand, bro, like literally you can't get a 100 rand anywhere else. So if the market gives you a 100 rand, mm. you need to be grateful and just continue doing what you did to get that 100 rand. It's all about consistency. Yeah. So yeah. I have a question. And uh, what advice would you give uh, people who are working 9 to 5 and people who are, like, in school? Like, because you were in school trading. How did you manage? And so basically, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you, right? Um, in terms of managing, I'm not going to lie. I literally neglected my schoolwork, right? And I don't suggest this, right? Because, like, <laughs> it was a risk I took, but it paid out in the end, right? But I'm not saying people must yeah. neglect their schoolwork and focus on trading. Like, you need to balance the two, right? Yeah. So what I did was I neglected my schoolwork. I was literally analyzing the markets, watching YouTube videos. Like, I was practicing the stuff leadership taught me. I was, yo, I was doing a lot. But I was not doing schoolwork, let's just say that. I was focusing on trading and not schoolwork. Ish. Yeah. But it's so off, you know. My advice to traders would be first of all, focus on school, right? Or find yeah. at least find a balance between the two, right? Because mm. you get traders who, who you get traders who like neglect school but they're not profitable yet. Like how can you quit school Ish. but you're not profitable yet? You know what I mean? Yeah, true. You need to be realistic. Yeah, you need, you need to be realistic. And at the same time, you need to make your family happy, you know? Like, you need to finish school yeah, and, yeah. and, like, focus on your trading. But I totally, like, I just yeah. finished school, you know? Grade 11, I passed with mediocre marks. Pay minimum, I passed, right? And then, and then your metric, how did that go with your trading? <laughs> did you minimize trading? Or did, like, the COVID period... Uh, make you a better trader and increase like your 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 profits and like the amount of money you've made. The co- okay, um, the COVID period, right? Because lockdown came in in March, right? So beginning mm. of twenty twenty, which was last year when I was in matric, um, I literally was focusing on school, right? I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna put trading aside. I wanna focus on school. Finish school just for my family, right? And then I'm going to, like, yeah. trade off the um, high school. Luckily, well, let me not say luckily, sorry. But then COVID came in place, yeah. right? Lockdown came in place. Online learning came in place. And I was like, okay, you know what? Let me focus a bit more on trading. It was a gamble I took. Having yeah. online classes, I'd go to my online classes, but I wouldn't really focus. 
But it was online classes, so it was like three hours a day, right? In total. So I had like most of the day to focus on my trading, right? All right. So like throughout okay, the day. That's I, interesting. So like basically what throughout I was saying. Pardon? Throughout the day you were. I was literally just back testing, practicing the skill. Back-testing. I was literally just on the market. Nothing beats chart time. Yeah. Yeah. So I was literally just on the market, just practicing, doing what, like, you know, just, just trying my best. 